Yeah, it's hard. It's hard between sitting outside or sitting inside. Inside, I hear some noises that freak me out, and on the outside, I hear noises that freak me out. So it's like, which noises do I want to sit by and get freaked out by? <laughs> yeah. What it is official. Me, myself, and I, in the ocean. Your yeah, boy's a mechanic. All right, well, I can't just only film the good, not the bad, so here I am, dead in the water, Bar Harbor, Maine. Okay, so I've got it identified. It's my starter. Um, batteries are fully charged, so definitely not the batteries anymore. The starter started smoking when I started whacking it, and it started cranking a little bit. So that means the starter is uh, seized up on the inside. But luckily for me, I'm a prepared sailor, and I have an extra starter on the boat. Now we're going to replace it. The first what I'm going to do is clean this fucking mess up because why do I want to change my starter in a disaster? We have the alternator taken out, hanging, and there's our starter back there. I got two bolts I gotta undo, and then the ones there on the solenoid. I'm just taking a break, having some checks mix, because I don't know if I have a long enough extension for this. We're gonna find out. After a relentless few hours, I've got the old starter out. The old new starter going in. The old new one looks pretty shitty compared to the new one. So that's slightly concerning. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. Your boy's a mechanic. We're mechanic, baby. She's repping now. Okay, so uh, good to go. Engine's ready to go. It's ripping, skipping. Starter's running better than it ever has since I've had the new engine in. Obviously, because I put the old in, the old starter from the old engine in. Um, so that's running well. Now, it's too late for me to move anywhere now. But uh, I'm going to hang out here. I'm going to hang out with somebody tonight. And then leave in the morning. Get some fuel. Get some water. See how it's going. And then if everything's still good, I'll... Uh, Push for Halifax. If not Halifax, Shelbourne. But while I got you here, this, I missed showing you guys the sunset, but beautiful tonight. Nice and gentle. This catamaran right over there, they lent me their tools and got me good to go. Great day it is today, y'all. Look at this freaking gorgeous absolutely mesmerizing beautiful amazing fantastic perfecto i don't know why i went italian on that one but we did anyway we're leaving bar harbor right now we're going to the gates this the other day when i went to those islands i went all the way to that one over there by dinghy in the middle of that fog so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with my four horsepower engine back there. She's doing well. We got to name her. I don't know. I haven't named her yet. But if you guys got a good name, put it in the comments below. Uh, like I said before, we're on the way to the fuel dock. So check in there. Oh, quick little update. Uh, I did not go to Nova Scotia today. I stayed back one more day. I'm going to leave tomorrow morning. Why did I leave? Or why? Did I stay? Well, because Jeff and Susie from ZigZag gave me their freaking dinghy. They gave me their hard bottom dinghy today. They got a score on a freaking 12 foot, same dinghy. So they hooked me up with this freaking dinghy. They are absolute legends. They have sponsored me, literally sponsored me from my way to Kingston here. They've given me an inverter. They've given me batteries. They've given me a fucking dinghy. 
taking me out for dinner, they're taking care of me like I'm their own goddamn kid. I am forever grateful for those two human beings. They're amazing, they're from Washington. I met them in Kingston at the marina. It's insane, insane that I'm here in Maine with them now. Uh, I'm parting ways with them tomorrow. They are staying here in Bar Harbor. Their kids are coming down. So they're gonna hang out with their kids, but hopefully in about two weeks or so, I'll meet back up with them again and uh, continue sailing down south with them. They're, uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jeff and Susie. I love from the bottom of my heart. You guys always have a place in my heart now. Forever and always. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And don't forget about the freaking hat, too, that Jeff gave me. So, uh, I'm, I'm mini Jeff at this point. I'm mini Jeff, man. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so, so freaking much. So much. Bye, Susie. Say bye to the camera. I'll see you soon, darling. That is positive. We also have some negative. My bilge pump pump failed. That's all oil and stuff in the bills. It's been in there for like 40 years. So I bought a new bilge pump. Already got it on a stick, ready to float. Just gotta connect it, stick it back down there, then I'm good to go. I'm gonna pack the boat up, get ready for an early morning to leave tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be a very long passage, 15, 20 knots all day and night. So I'm not gonna be sleeping very much tomorrow. But it's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure. I am awake. I'm ready to go. It's 57 degrees today. I am at Little Cranberry Island right now, right outside of Bar Harbor, or right outside of Katy National Park, I mean. Got my coffee going. I got breakfast going. All I have left for me to do is put the table up, put the dinghy up, put the engine up. Um, and I think I'm ready to go. I'm trying to leave here in the next 30, 45 minutes. And we got 22 hours on the GPS, it says. We'll see. Resolution with um, Joe and Lisa. They are doing the same trip as me. They leave about the same time, but they got a much bigger boat than me, so they're definitely gonna beat me. At least I'll have some VHF range out there, talk to somebody for a little bit until they completely pass me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's gonna be an exciting day today. Hey, right, boat's prepared, ready to go. I am. Uh... About to push off. Pretty windy out here. It's gonna be a fun day. 21 hours, 22 hours. All right, we are underway. We have full sails up. Well, I got one reef in on the main. Full head out. I should have all head out right now, but when I looked at the charts coming out, it said um, 15 to 20. So I didn't want to start with full sail until I knew if it was gusty or not. So. Eventually, I'll uh, put the full sail up here. But right now, we are pointed exactly in the direction of Nova Scotia. Uh, I should see it in about 80 to 90 miles. And I should be there 9, 10, 11 tomorrow sometime. I don't know, it all depends on the wind. We're supposed to have, we're supposed to give it be calmed at some point today for a couple hours. A motor sailing right now. I think the mountains are blocking us. Uh, a little wind block, if that's the thing. Because uh, we're supposed to be getting a crap ton of wind coming from this way right now. That's not coming. So, Joe and Lisa on resolution are already out there. And uh, I'm behind them. We haven't tried our radio contact yet, but I did test out earlier on Channel 72. Beautiful dinghy. Look at this. Jeff and freaking Susie. I love you guys so much. Tears in my eyes this morning thinking about it. I, uh, two years, two years leading up to this, and now I'm finally going to my first, oh, first country. I didn't expect Canada to be my first country, right? This was not planned at all. I just kept going north, and uh, I mean, I don't, have, I don't plan on coming back up here anytime soon, so if I'm gonna be up here, I might as well uh, go up as high as I can go, right? Then we'll turn around and make our way south. But let's, let's, uh, let's do it. I 
a custom wind vane, port mounted. <laughs> Alrighty, we got full sails up now because it is. We are barely moving, I mean. We are barely moving. You know, I can't get tension in that corner. I don't know why or where. I think I gotta pull it forward more. Do you know why I can't get tension in that corner if I gotta pull it forward? Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, we're pretty dead. The seas are very calm today. I am thrilled about how calm it is. Get my custom wind vane. Only J-Class boats have that. I'm a J-Class. Thinking it was a problem with the wire, but I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. Whenever I'm going less than like three knots, it works fine. But anything faster, it doesn't like to work. So I got to figure that out. Uh, this is what the mountains look like now. They're getting smaller and smaller. I have my main up, but it's luffing as you can see. I should take it down, but I'm too lazy. Head sails up, and I'm coming across my first problem. Well, today anyway, because it's so dead calm out here, so flat, not very rolly at all, nothing. Very, very comfortable. But I'm trying. I'm having a hard time staying awake, and it's one o'clock. I just had two sandwiches for lunch. Maybe it was my big meal. I just worked out for like 45 minutes too, so. I don't know. Here's Gerald. Here's the thing. We're cruising, we're cruising. Looking like a 36 hour passage if this wind doesn't pick up sometime soon. I'm seeing right now, but like right over there, it, unless it's like so flat, my, my eyes are tripping me out so hard right now. Like it just lo it looks like something is hooking in right there, kind of. Maybe I'm freaking going crazy already. <laughs> I can still see the mountains, and I'm already going crazy. Nice. That's still, it's so bizarre. I hope you guys can see it on the camera. It looks like smoke. It looks like smoke coming off the water, but there's definitely not smoke coming off the water. She goes, she goes. Yeah, I keep seeing you know, something over there. I think it's fin up or something. I turned course really quick, so we go check it out. See if I can get closer. We are 30 miles in. The mountains are barely back there now. I'm on to my second Mola Mola sighting, which is somewhere up there, waiting for him to pop. There he is. Our second Mola Mola sighting, unless that's a shark, but pretty sure it's a Mola Mola. Definitely Mola Mola. This one might be bigger than the last one. This guy's like traveling packs or something. I think I just see another one over there, which makes three. Bizarre. Yeah, look at this guy. Let's see if we can get him. There he is. It's the Mola Mola. Second big old sunfish. Crazy how big their fins are. Then they got something else over here. Floating in the water. I don't know what that is yet. 
but we're gonna check it out. Maybe it's package. I like packages. The wind's picking up a little bit. I got both sails up. They're both full of air. Probably like five or six knots. I am relaxing, jamming out to the California Honey Drops. It's one of my followers on Instagram shared me their music. Uh, again, guys, share me your music, whatever your favorite music is. Drop in the comments. I love listening to music, all kinds of music. And uh, just not scream up, like I said. No scream up, please. But yeah, let me know the songs. I'll, I'll add them and I'll listen to them on, on my, uh, my trips. Right now, it's freaking gorgeous. The moon's out up here. He's out. And the sun's still high. That's how that's how far north I am right now. It's pretty crazy. Like they're so close together. Can barely see the mountains. No boats. Oh well, shit. Actually there's a giant boat over there. I didn't notice him until right now. We're out here y'all. We are in the North Atlantic. Oh, you know, I'm just staring at this dinghy right here, and all I can think is how much I love Jeff and Susie off the of zigzag. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Oh man, that's all. Oh, Moa. Freaking everywhere out here. Mola Mola. It is officially me myself and I and the ocean. Let's take a look. It is magical out here. Absolutely magical. This water is just so dark. Like 500 feet, 600 feet deep right now. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy right now. Well, I'm uh, reading a book, uh, Killing Patton. Apparently he was killed or assassinated. sunset that was still going on now but this is just absolutely insane being out here I gotta say the vastness is setting in but besides that I just feel like another day on the pond this is crazy getting chilly out here temperatures dropped I'm in my overalls I got a jacket underneath that a long sleeve and sweatpants and now I'm comfortable before I was chilly Let's see what happens as the night goes on so far these gloves are definitely overkill they're way overkill I don't need them at all and honestly my hands are sweating them but like they're cozy Just turned everything off. There's no engine, there's no music, there's nothing except for the autopilot. The wind and the water right now. Check it out. I'm 
having a little bit of a sensory overload. Like there's just so much, so much going on right now. This is one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. I'm so freaking grateful for this. God, if you've never done this before, there's no words that I could tell you right now to describe what I'm feeling. So it's now 8.30, pitch black out. I don't even know if you guys can see me. Um, but I don't know what I expected. I literally can't see shit. This is the most scared I've ever been in my life. And this has been the most free I've ever been in my life. And this is the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. I am seeing things right now. Right, it just past midnight. Um, I'm doing about four knots, five knots now. I'm about to come, just came inside to take a little nap. Uh, something that I never thought would come in handy, man. These freaking gloves. These gloves out of this world. Freaking fantastic. Hands are cozy. It is chilly out there. It's probably in the high 40s, low 50s. Um, and I'm a baby when it comes to cold, so. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick little uh, 20, 30 minute nap here. And hopefully everything stays as it stays. I just put out a little more head sail because I was going too slow. Hopefully I don't regret that. And uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard between sitting outside or sitting inside. Inside I hear some noises that freak me out and on the outside I hear noises that freak me out. So it's like which noises do I want to sit by and get freaked out by? <laughs> yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Going to Nova Scotia. Going to Nova Scotia. No one said it was gonna be this fucking cold. Um, it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm having a good sail. Very, very nice winds. Everything's been in my favor so far. There's a current pushing me up right now, slightly. Like, by up I mean west. Like one and a half, but it slows down eventually. And then I'll go back, but it's not affecting me too much. I've taken about two naps, about 20 minutes each. <sighs> Made a peanut butter and honey sandwich. States picking up. I can't see fucking shit really because it's so dark. The moon was up for like an hour, two hours, and it's disappeared. It's so dark out. I got rolled by a couple waves, scared the crap out of me. But uh, we're going. What time is it? 2:47. We're pushing. Morning, good morning, good morning. I made it through the night. Sun's up. I got a little quick, quick picture of the sunrise coming up. I, uh... Oh, oh sleep. Hello. Too long, the last round. Ah! <laughs> 
<sighs> Can't stop sneezing here. I have like 20 minutes. But uh, Jim's up. I still can't see any land. Pushing about five knots right now. <laughs> Holy shit. The seas aren't too bad. You can see a couple boats around me now, but nothing crazy yet. Okay, we got our morning coffee going. Sun's so getting higher. It's still cold as balls out here. It's looking like we're gonna land about 3 p.m. Um, and we jumped into another time zone too. I didn't know that was gonna happen. We are now an hour ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, land ho! Land ho! Way over there is an island. And next to it over there is another island. Uh, land ho! Land ho! Can you tell I'm shot? The nose is stuck. Alright, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. It's not looking like I'm getting there until about 7.38 tonight, which is not ideal, but we got a mean current I've been fighting all day and it's finally alleviating a little bit. So now I'm pushing, I got full sails up, head sail and main sail full, just put it up and uh, I've got a little extra knot from that. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get in there before uh, nightfall and then um, got to do some work and then right to bed. <laughs> Sleepy boy. Just want to get to the port. SOS. Oh my god! Like an hour and a half, two hours left. We're about around McNutt's Island, Nova Scotia, eh? where they transfer into moose per syrup or syrup per moose. Whatever you want. All right, we're coming in up the river now, about an hour left. These are aquaculture pens, also known as fish farming. So I don't know what they're doing in there, halibut maybe, herring, something. A bunch of fish in all those cages, which is pretty bizarre if you ask me. Wow, it's crazy how large these aquaculture pens are. There's got to be thousands of fish in each one of these. I don't like that. That's pretty crazy. Well, y'all, 36 hours later, made it to the border, go to check in. Instantly as I pull in, I get boarded by the fucking border patrol. Instantly as I pull in, right? So, board my boat, search my boat, tear everything apart, break shit, broke my fucking engine cover, broke my cover down there. Yeah, now I gotta fucking leave. 36 hours fucking back. Oh, almost. Now. Okay, you almost got it. You're going too fast. 
howdy doody. Well, thank you for making it to the end of this video. This has been an absolutely stressful 13 days, two weeks, whatever the hell it's been since hitting a rock, since this. You saw the snippet of next week's video, this freaking 40, 50 knots of wind, anchor broke free. Thank God somebody got it on video for you guys, right? His, uh, his name's How to Sail. How to Sail Oceans, that's his name. Go give him a follow. And while you're doing follows, hit that subscribe button for me. If you guys want to help me out with Patreon, please do. I lost my anchor two days ago or yesterday in the gale. That's what happened. Lost the anchor, man. So I, uh, I need all the help I can get. Subscribe to my Patreon. Go follow me on Instagram, selling Aphrodite. And uh, again, Jeff and Susie, I love you both. Thank you so much. And uh, Juliana, Juliana from Canada, she sent me a freaking pretty penny. Thank you so much, Juliana. That's actually like it's going to be paying for my new anchor. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have a new anchor. So thank you so much. And some other patrons, Jay, Willie, and Cole. Y'all rock as always. I love you all. Till next week, I'll be back in the U.S. of A.